thought I'd do something where I can show my competitive spirit because I'm a really competitive person. It is called the Do I Have That Book Challenge and essentially it's a list of prompts that you need to find a book that fits that prompt and you've got to do it within eight minutes is what the original tag is by the booktuber keeping tabs. I am squatting right now. I am like fully ready to do this. I'm like so down to feel good about myself because I'm gonna kill this hopefully. If I don't then I'm gonna cry on the floor. Here we go. Eight minutes on the clock. Do you have a book with deckled edges? I do have a book with deckled edges. I have like 20 books with deckled edges. I have a bunch of them over there. Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. Do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Yes, I do. The End by Lemony Snicket. Oh my god, this is okay, cool. Do you have a book based on another fictional story? What the freak does that mean? I don't know if this counts, but carry on. Fangirl is the original fictional story. This story is in another book originally. It's like a story within a story. I think that's what it means. But this is a story that was born out of another story and it's based on a fictional story by another woman. Oh my god, I've, I've got, I gotta keep going. <laughs> Do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? Exactly 10. Exactly 10. Exactly 10. Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? Yes. A bunch of the Twilight books do. Do you have a mass market paperback book? These are the closest I'm going to get. I hope that they're mass paperback. Um, but this is the Game of Thrones series. Oh, I <laughs> Why am I puffed out? Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Let me sneak hanging to me. Oh my god, that's so good. It's literally covered free. Okay. Do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Harry Potter. Okay. Do you have a book with two maps in it? Two maps? Two maps? Two maps? I would. I see a fine one. One, two. Oh my god, okay. Hero of Ages. Hero of Ages, Brandon Sanderson. One, Two, three. I'm not going to keep counting. I don't know if there's any more, but that's enough. Do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Game of Thrones. <laughs> Do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else? I have Modern Love by Aziz, whatever his name is, but I don't have it on me. I gave it to someone to read. Wait, did he write it? Yes, Stephen Hawkins. He wrote this book. He wrote this book. It's The Grand Design by Stephen Hawking and Leonard something. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? Oh, it's getting hard. It is getting hard. It is getting hard. I don't think I have one with a clock on it. Can this just count? It's a digital clock on a phone. That can count, right? Heart stopper. All right. Do you have a poetry book? I have poetry. It's Thoughts of Nanushka. Thoughts of Nanushka by Nan Whitcomb. Do you have a book with a ward stamp on it? Yes. Dragon Keeper by Carol Wilkinson has like four. Do you have a book, oh I got one minute. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? That is so difficult. KM, KM, KM. Karl Marx, Karl Marx, the Communist Manifesto paid off having that book. Do you have a book of short stories? Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time, I've got 23 seconds. Okay, we're over the eight minute mark, but let's see how long it takes me. Island of Dr. Moreau and Other Stories by H.G. Wells. Do you have a book that is between 500 to 510 pages long? Oh, don't, don't do it. 4.91. This is 503 pages long. Aragon by Christopher Palauni or whatever. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> I do. It's Harry Potter. Do you have a graphic novel? Heartstopper. Do you have a book written by two or more authors? The Karl Marx book. I just got a pile over here. Karl Marx book. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Damn it. I got nine minutes and 45 seconds. Something took me really long, what was it? A book with a clock on the cover. That took me ridiculously long and I got such a bad example for it as well. Ooh, let me catch my breath on that one. There are so many books around me. <laughs> this room is such a mess now. I can't find a clock on the cover. I don't think I own a book with a clock on the cover. That is a really difficult prompt. All the other ones though were really good and I think well-timed. But I'm not here to critique the tag. Just gonna say that this tag is so hard. I hope you enjoyed me running around sweating and having a red face for the last 
eight minutes, so I guess nine minutes and 45 seconds. That's fine. I'm just gonna go cry a little bit and then I'll feel better. If it wasn't for the clock one, I think I would have killed this tag. So I'm just going to ignore clocks and their existence forever now. I wanna do more tags that are like a competition. That was like so fun to do. I really enjoyed that. Bye. I'm gonna go lie on the floor now and be sad that I didn't, I didn't win.